The silent they start bot lane and they they just get a cheesy Q and then they TP back to top lane. I'm just gonna warn my bot lane this time. We'll be able to see if he doesn't shine this wave, then he's probably doing it. Okay, that's fine. Whoa, what is that Scion scan? That looks sick. I've actually never seen that. Oh, that's a Chroma for one of the World Breaker, I think. I've actually never seen that Chroma, though. It's cool. Oh, he's going to keep me there. Not going to chase him into the bush. How are the games tonight? Pretty rough. We haven't won yet. We've been playing well, but... I've had auto-filled junglers all day. Like, literally every game I think I've had an auto-filled jungle today. <laughs> it's actually crazy. This guy mains jungle, though, so... Hopefully he can do something. Thought the Conqueror nurse made it unplayable on Ergot? Nah, it's still fine. It's a good scaling rune. I can't do too much in the Scion lane, so... I'd rather just scale, especially with our team comp. We got Kane, Vayne. I think Conqueror's still completely fine. Just slightly worse. Alright, we're gonna go for the callback here, as usual. I have to find other ways to get leads against these tanks. Actually, I'd rather go read you, dude. Get all the sustain that I can get. Well, the only thing they did for Conquer is uh, it's just two extra stacks you have to get before you actually get to the healing part, but it's not too bad on their guy. Like, once you get nine, you stack it so quick anyway, because your passive gives you a stack, and then every W gives you a stack, so it's really not too big of a deal for a guy. So it'd be a bad time to TP, sadly. Oh man, so close. Shield. Yeah, I mean, there's sometimes I still go PTA into tanks. If I'm trying to, like, kill them earlier, like, we don't have a very good scaling comp. We have, we have just a scaling comp here, though, so... I'd rather just scale with the team. If it doesn't look like a scaling game, though, and they have a tank, I'll, I'll still go PTA sometimes. Uh, we should push here. I'm gonna mute this guy right now. He types, like, this is what I was saying in champ slack. This guy types. He goes for crazy plays every game, and then, like, flames everyone every single time, so. Just hit him with the early mute. Don't really want to trade while you have Cindy. Might just have to pour it back here, actually.
Was that him that control warded? I think it was. I don't think we're getting dev. Looks like they're going for drag. He's literally just proxying my wave, really. I guess he knows where the jungle is. I'm not gonna be able to get it back if he proxies. Ooh, is that the 1v2? I think Sion's going for a red here, maybe. Going for our golems then? What's he doing? Okay, I guess he back. He went for golems and then backed, I guess. I don't know why people say stuff like stop talking please to this guy. Like just mute him. Like, you literally have the power to make him stop talking. Quiet online. Okay, I can get Phage plus boots. Uh, if he wants to run here... Could be something. I'll last behind him though. I'm gonna give cannon for this. I don't know if it's worth. Not the best rumble I'll do. Well, that's sad. The best I can do there. Hey, welcome to the stream, Lord. Thanks for the follow, dude. I've been just getting really unlucky with teams, man. I don't know. I'll try not to tilt this one, because we do scale well. But like, holy moly. It's mostly just the jungles, I feel like, today. I've not been able to fall their way. And then it just like, it slowly transitions to top lane, you know? Especially with the Herald. See what happens though, just need a scale. Need Kane to get his form. Me and Vantia items. I probably shouldn't even try to fight this guy. Don't even do damage. He doesn't even have Bramble and I just don't do damage. I'm like tied in CS, tied in kills. I guess they have a lot of gold from the plates.
Just need my cleaver. That's how the tank matchups are. conditioning too that's gonna help a lot oh that's a big comeback if he gets a double that's huge that should be his form as well Man, I can't even get his shield off. His Q's already back up. He has zero CDR. Literally zero. Cleaver. Let me get this. I don't even want to mess with them. Problem that I have with Cleaver right now against tanks too is like it doesn't even help that much. Level 13 is what's going to help you the most against tanks once your passive is just... He's actually flaming me for that play. <laughs> he wants me to help at 30% HP with like literally no damage like we don't kill that guy and then he's like pinging my cleaver like I had it dude it's gone man it's gone I hate playing with this guy it's literally gone okay it's not gone it's like there's no reason for me to check it that I'm gonna mute this guy man this guy tilts me every time Just go for turret here. They got a kill at least. This guy's literally a nightmare to play with, dude. Feed on. Uh, just go for the turret and maybe we can try to kill. Oh. Oh. There's two of them. Well, I think we're pretty dead here. Two on my call. I guess Sion, he's going Titanic too. That's kind of weird into a Ben. I almost wonder if I should get Bork this game after. Oh, I don't know. That fence definitely gives me more survivability. This game is 100% winnable. Champ scales so hard no matter what our score is. Okay, Alistar is like soloing Kane. That should not happen. I 
I was hoping Lux would back me up here. I could go for a flash play. God, he has Harold. Honestly, we probably should have let the end have died there, maybe. Just for the free farm for me. Actually, it might be nice. Like, no way I can communicate that play, though. Uh, Dragon. I don't think we can go for it. That's third Drake already, though. There's just no way we get over there, though. That was weird. I was like right on top of the blast can. <laughs> I literally got blasted in place. Oh, dude, I need one more cam for death dance. I don't know how much meat back even does anything here. Oh, their blue just spawned rip. I feel like this game's literally free once we start grouping. Now that we have some items. I think Titanic is a really, really greedy buy by Scion here. Like, insanely greedy. We're really actually not in a bad spot at all. Yeah, it's just spam so sur surrender vets down. It's not like he does this in only my games too. Like this guy has a reputation. And I think he likes having that reputation, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna have to TP. It's the only way out. Uh, let's see. GA is pretty decent. I actually don't need. Uh, executioners would be okay, but I think I'd rather get GA. Rumble's gonna have Morellas. I think that'll probably be enough. I'm gonna try to skip out on that. Only 
problem is I can't TP for a Baron play here. Mm, I think I run over. The fight should be pretty extended. If my team's cutting back. Whoa, other team's going way too deep. This should be really good. If I can move. Bane had to reset. Oh my god, why did I not E? I was pressing it too. I think something cancelled me. I think with that alley headbutted me. I was spamming it there. It's actually very hard for me to uh, get ultis this game. Because I can't ult the Olaf when he's an ulti. And I can't ult Alistar unless he burns his ulti. Ezreal's like hard to get onto. Xerath is an easy one. Scion's also kind of an easy one. Oh my god, he went freaking... Sanguine. This build is so greedy, man. He's building for the split push, but I'm pretty sure I still win the split push. What makes Titanic a greedy buy? Uh, mostly because we have a lot of HP shred. And it's just like pure HP plus damage. Like, he's building to like split push, kind of. So he's gonna get shredded in team fights. I did not think we were going to contest. I guess we can, though. That's my bad. We've been behind this whole game, so I kind of autopiloted there. I just didn't think we were going to try for it. Does Adaptive Helm passive help against Sundance? Sundance? Oh, Sunfire? Yeah, it helps against that. Or it works against that. I could get Executioners. I don't know. I'm trying to debate. Ezreal has a Death Dance, and he's going to... Uh... Borg. I think I should. I think I should get Executioners. I might even go, uh... I don't have TP. 10 more seconds. Oh, dude, this is so unlucky. I really wish I had for it. Oh, he's not chasing. It's okay, we win this though. Should try to Baron here. We can do it if Rumble comes over right now. You gotta come over right now, buddy. I have no core. I don't know if Zareth. Zareth won't be up in time. This should be good. Nice. Big comeback. What do I want to go last here? Probably just Visage. 
I'm running Conquer as well, so... Got some healing from that, plus the Death Dance. I mean, I guess Sion's process, or thought process is like, no matter what, you're gonna get shredded against a Vin. But I still think you should get like adaptive, like build for the rumble then or something, you know? I know you can't really build for Vin, but... His build's like a split push build, but he's not gonna beat me in the split push at this point, so it just, it's weird. To me anyway, but maybe he's thinking something else. Uh, I'd kinda rather group with Baron, but... I'll listen to the call. I guess it's kind of hard against Zara at the push, even with Baron. Our wards have actually been really good this game. So at least I have a lot of wards to TP to. Vision control has been on point. I'm gonna split way faster than Scion. I don't know what he's doing. I really hope I don't have to port here. I'd rather just split. I think they win that without me. I'm just gonna keep splitting here. He's gonna make him answer, man. We got two coming. They can't really deal with me. That's all I want to get. I think more back in. Got L Stars Flash. Oh, this is so greedy. <laughs> I thought that was going to be too greedy of a play. That was pretty greedy, man, I'm not going to lie. Got kind of lucky there. Oh, that's so good. I get my Visage on this back now, too. Nice. That was a really good push. We got Dragon. We got Inhib. Got everything, dude. It's going to be really hard to push without Baron, though, I think. They can definitely get that. I don't know if they'll be able to go for an inhib turret, though. Nice. I'm, like, pretty much full build. Almost 18. Scaling is ridiculous. Got that overgrowth, conditioning, conquer. It's full scaling build. I love it. Right out of the sign isn't even like trying to match me. Coming in hot. Good flash. Whoa, the greed.
Is he gonna just clear this wave? Maybe. Sneak that turret in real quick. <laughs> uh, do you have enough for mortal? 400? That should be pretty big. I'm too scared to do race. This plus Grom should give me enough. I might need those wolves too. The sign went mortal as well, holy. Yeah, Xerath doesn't really do much to me until he gets Rabadons, which he might have on this back. Okay, that guy just looked, that looked like an ant, kinda. Wait, we maybe just went off that. Trying to like pick someone with ulti. I guess he does have like a one-shot build. <laughs> God, I don't have teleport though. I feel like we've just scaled too hard. I knew this would happen with our comp, dude. I knew we had the scaling. It's actually pretty sketchy. Let's just get drag. Do not want to let him get saw. Let me get the red. Oh man, come on. Oh, I tried to predict that. in there, Ben. Look at that shred, man. I'll just tank. Holy moly, we finally got a win today. GG. Have to work pretty hard for these wins, dude. I'll take it though, that was a good game. Just had to scale. People's mentals, man, are just so weak today. Not even today, but just like, I don't know if it's the elo or like, it's really hard to play scaling team comps with people's mental though. Like they always just want to surrender when we like, I can, I can like see the future with these team comps, dude. Like they're, it's so hard for us to lose if we get there. And we're not like extremely far behind, like we're kind of behind, but we're not extremely far behind. 27k damage, nice. Only 650 on the Conqueror heals. I feel like that should be a little bit more. Oh well, finally got a win.